Hi, welcome to example five in our matrix topic. We're going to have a look at determinants. Uh, the determinant of a matrix is a really important uh, quantity. Um, it's a slightly weird one because it's a it's got a special property. It we we use it a lot, and yet it's kind of hard to explain at this level what it might actually represent. So I'm not going to try and give you a big uh, story about why it is what it is. It just is at the moment. And I'll show you what we can use it for at the moment. And if you're doing any advanced mathematics, you can uh, study more about what the determinant represents. So the first thing that's important to know that the determinant of a square matrix is a scalar quantity. In other words, it's a number. It's not a matrix in itself. So we're going to look at both 2 by 2 matrices and 3 by 3 matrices. Only square matrices have determinants. And interesting, if you know the root of the word determinant, it's obviously determine. And what it does do, it helps us determine certain characteristics of a square matrix. So for any square matrix here, but we've got A, um, B, C, D is our square matrix. The determinant of A is written in a couple of ways. We can either just use the, the letters D, E, T, the determinant of A, or here we've got these parallel lines again, a bit like the, um, the magnitude of a vector or the modulus of a complex number. Again, it's about the determinant here in this form, and it's calculated by multiplying the elements of the principal diagonal, A times D, and subtracting from that the product of the secondary diagonal here, B times C. That's all we do. So that you can see that it's going to give us a scalar quantity. It gives a number. So what does that number represent? What, what use is it? Well, first of all, if the determinant is zero, then we call the matrix a singular matrix and it has no inverse. We'll talk more about inverse inverse matrices a wee bit later, but that's the property that would determine that it has no inverse if the determinant is zero. And conversely, if the determinant is not zero, whether it's positive or whether it's negative, we can go on and know that it has an inverse. So the first thing we can determine from this number is whether or not a matrix has an inverse. Okay, so that's how we calculate the determinant in a two by two matrix. Uh, so, on a practical level, then example five, find the determinant of a when a is three negative one one four. So we can say uh, determinant. Oops, the determinant. Excuse me. Determinant of a is equal to 3 multiplied by 4, subtract negative 1 multiplied by 1, which is going to be 12, subtract negative 1, which is 13. We can use determinant of A, we can use uh, the parallel lines either way. So that's all we need to do to find the determinant. In this case here, it doesn't ask us for it, but we can um, confidently say then that this matrix A is non-singular. We could find its inverse if we were so inclined. 